very beautiful statement of Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu that's narrated by Malik ibn Dinar. And it's, it's an authentic and it's a beautiful narration. Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, Man kathura kalamuhu kathura saqtu. Whoever talks too much makes too many mistakes. And the idea here is that, you know, you used to have one way of expressing yourself. Right through your tongue and maybe you could write letters back then or you could write, you could write your poetry or whatever it was. Like, you know, you used to have very few ways to express yourself. Now all of a sudden this power has been placed in all of our laps where we're able to express ourselves in so many different ways. I mean, you could, you could express yourself through your tongue, you could express it through your text message, you could express it through your email, you could expre express it through your Facebook, your Twitter, whatever it may be. You have all of these tongues where you can express yourself and you can put stuff out there. And hence the, the, the possibility of committing a sin or making a mistake becomes much greater. And the reward for practicing silence also becomes much greater. It's very easy to get ourselves in a lot of trouble now. Everything gets preserved, right? And subhanAllah, the danger of making those mistakes becomes even greater because they're enshrined. You're stuck with them. And so the burden of responsibility with your words and the things that you write and the things that you type and the things you put out there becomes greater. And all of those ahadith where the Prophet ﷺ talks about practicing silence all of a sudden become more relevant. And you know, I'm not just talking about, um, you know, going off on somebody or responding to a comment or backbiting and things of that sort. I'm just talking about talking about everything. When the Prophet ﷺ mentioned the three types of people, abghadakum ilayya, the most hated of you to me and the furthest of you from me on the day of judgment, the first category the Prophet ﷺ mentioned was atharfarun, atharfarun al mutashaddiqun al mutafayhiqun, atharfarun. Those are people that have to have an opinion on absolutely everything. Whether you're qualified or not, you say something. You have to say something. You have to give your input. As if anyone cares, right? Hashtag nobody cares. As if anyone cares about your opinion on what's going on in this part of the world or that part of the world or so on and so forth or on this issue. You have to say something and you don't consider much of it, right? And the Prophet ﷺ says, Al-'ajalatu min shaytan Haste is from the shaitan, you know, doing things really quickly, not, not saying things in a calculated way, not doing things in a calculated way, just constantly putting it out there. And so you put out these words and these statements, and when you keep on putting it out, if the volume of your speech, and when I, I don't mean like as, as far as the noise level, if the amount of writing you have out there and the amount of words you have out there is greater, then you're naturally going to make more mistakes. So you have to be more responsible with the means of expression that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to you. So, مَنْ كَثُرَ كَلَامُهُ كَثُرَ سَقْتُهُ And then he said رضي الله تعالى عنه وَمَنْ كَثُرَ سَقْتُهُ قَلَّ حَيَاءَهُ This is the next level, the next phase that Umar ibn Khattab رضي الله عنه mentions. Number one, if you talk too much, you make too many mistakes. And when you make too many mistakes, your modesty will wither away. قَلَّ حَيَاءَهُ I want you to think about this. What usually happens when a person starts to put too much out there? Do people gain respect for them or lose respect for them? Usually they lose respect for them. Usually some of those sins that Allah blessed His servants to hide start to come out, right? Some things that you wouldn't have expected of a person or the way that they start to speak, if they speak too much, you know, it's only a matter of time before they're caught on their bad day. And even if it's not their character, when they type that day, and you don't see it, you just see the tweet, you just see the Facebook status as someone who's consuming it. You don't see what happened to that person that day. Maybe they had a fight with their spouse. Maybe they got into it with their kids. Maybe they had a flat tire at work today. And you don't see that when they comment on something, but you know what, it's there. It's there for all of us. And so what ends up happening though, our modesty, starts to be lost either in the way that we speak or the things we put out there. We start to expose things of ourselves that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept hidden. وَمَنْ قَلَّ حَيَاؤُهُ قَلَّ وَرَعَهُ Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu continues, he says, when your modesty starts to shrink, then your caution starts to shrink. Your filter goes away. Right? The modesty was the guard, that haya that the Prophet ﷺ says, al haya min al-Iman, that modesty is a form of faith. Modesty is lifted. When modesty is gone, the filter is gone too. 
And so when the filter is gone, it's just, it's, it's just all over the place. There is no caution in what you write and what you put out there. وَمَنْ قَلَّ وَرَعُهُ And whoever starts to lose that caution and that filter and staying away from haram and staying away from doubtful matters and, and, and you know, not maintaining that filter, مَاتَ قَلْبُهُ His heart dies. So subhanAllah, Umar ibn Khattab anhu is taking you from a place where you just talk too much to a place of the death of the heart to show you there is a direct relationship between the two. There is a direct relationship with how much you talk to the life of your heart, to whether it's going to be sick or whether it's going to die.